Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today, I will show you some methods to fix PS4 stuck on restarting screen or won't turn off issue. So, what we can do now is to hold the power button of the PS4 for about 10 to 20 seconds until it turn off completely. If it still doesn't turn off, then unplug the power cord and remove any disc or USB peripheral. Normally, I don't recommend doing this while your PS4 is on. But we have no other choice. After unplugging the power cord, wait for about 5 to 10 minutes, then reconnect the power cord and restart your PS4. It will check to see if it is corrupt when you switch it on again, and everything will be okay. There are many reasons why your PS4 cannot turn off normally. Most of these reasons are software related issues and they're easy to fix with the two methods above. But, sometimes it's something related to the hard drive or CPU that needs to repair or replace. So, before you leave, know this, if the problem still shows up on the next PS4 shutdown, then come back here and try the following methods until you make sure your issue is resolved. Method 1. Update your PS4 system software. Maybe the version of your PS4 system software is out of date. Outdated versions can be problematic, and it's wise to resolve the issue sooner rather than later. Just go to Settings. Go to System Software Update. This option will prompt your system to check for the latest firmware version. If you do not have the latest version, it will be downloaded to your system. Method 2. Check the PS4 HDD. Your PS4 console also needs a certain portion of the hard drive kept free to act as virtual memory, where it stores data while the RAM clears. A hard drive that's too full can slow down your PS4 system, causing freezes and crashes. It can also result in the PS4 not turning off. So, make sure your hard drive has from 10 to 20% of their storage capacity to be free in order to operate flawlessly at maximum performance. Alternatively, if possible, remove your PS4's hard drive then connect it to a PC, either internally using the two SATA cables, data and power, or externally, easier option, using a USB external hard drive enclosure. After your PC recognizes it, just using Crystal Disk Info software to check the health status of the hard drive. Method 3. Rebuilding the PS4 database. To do this, you'll need to boot your PS4 into safe mode. Turn off your PS4 by holding down the power button for a few seconds until it beeps twice and goes off. Once it's turned off, press and hold the power button again until you hear two beeps. Now connect the PS4 controller with a USB cable. After that, press the PlayStation button present on the controller. The PlayStation will now be in the safe mode. Go to Rebuild Database Options and select it. The PS4 will start rebuilding the database and this process can take a few hours. Method 4. Clean a PS4. This is what we all dread, but eventually must face. With everyday use, more and more dust will settle on your PS4, both outside and within. And as it accumulates, the performance of the console will suffer, overheating and cause unexpected problems. So, please clean it both outside and inside. If you don't know how to do it, please refer to YouTube or other websites. One day soon, I will make this tutorial and I will update it in the description of the video. If you can't do this yourself, take your PS4 to a PS4 repair shop and have them clean and check the hardware for you. There will be a fee, of course, depending on the situation your PS4 health. Finally, factory reset the PS4, 
This is a last resort effort to ensure the functionality of the system will work properly. And make sure to back up any saved data you may have before starting the reset process. That's it guys, hope this is helpful. If you have any further questions, please feel free to get in touch or leave a comment. Thanks.